This episode of In an Instant is powered by Wasabi. Get 15% off camera batteries with promo code INSTANT. Goblins, ghost schools, a man named Gary, it's Spooktober. And today with our finest potions, we conjure the most knee-quaking, marrow-chilling costume on this side of Fright Street. We're making a camera out of cardboard. In this episode, I'm gonna figure out how to make a wearable Polaroid SX-70 costume with only tape, spray paint, cardboard, and a deteriorating capacity to understand whether I'm a human being or simply a construct placed on this earth to become a camera. <laughs> Let's hope for the latter. A kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Welcome to In An Instant, my name is Boo. Today we're celebrating Hallow's Ween with a little project I'm attempting to pull off in which we enlarge an SX-70, add some straps to it, and make it into a Halloween costume, surely making my friends and family proud of how crafty I am and how well I spend my free time. A little while ago, I excitedly smashed that buy button on a ridiculous Polaroid Halloween costume based on the original Polaroid one-step camera design. It looked very silly, which I loved, it looked soft, easy to fit in, and fairly convenient to wear given its obtuse shape. The model in the photo also looks like an easygoing and relatable guy. I can imagine myself being him, living in his body, replacing him and taking over his life, feeling his lowest lows and his highest highs, and browsing questionable subreddits under his username. A few weeks later, I discovered the order was canceled by the store, with not enough notice to order another from a different distributor. You can imagine how chilling this was. To the bone, even. But my wife suggested the wacky idea of making one myself. And to be clear, she meant take some of her old boxes and just draw on them or something. But by that evening, I had ordered two rolls of thick gaffer's tape, five cans of spray paint, large cardboard moving boxes, adjustable canvas handbag straps, and a gray pullover. My intention? To make a silver Polaroid SX-70 with a faux brown leather skin sized up to fit over my body. This will require proper scaling and some creative adjustments, especially given that the SX-70 is so much deeper than the one-step, and it may be very awkward to wear. Actually, I know it will be, and I'm still doing this anyway. With the SX-70 being five inches wide and my torso being 30 inches wide, the first step was figuring out how large to make every piece and also exactly what pieces to make. Since I'm spray painting individual parts, I needed to be able to assemble the camera from large pieces instead of just building it as I go, which would have been way fucking easier. After starting to lightly diagram this on my laptop computer, I soon started to heavily diagram it and seriously doubt how this could take over my life. I determined around 20 total pieces were needed to be cut and shaped to assemble a three-dimensional costume. Links to the heavy diagrams in the description. It was early on in the actual building phase that I discovered there was no way in haunted hell I was gonna be able to make the rear piece, so I focused on just the front of the SX-70, cutting off where the downsloping angle begins. I also realized that this might look like an absolute piece of shit. Tape was everywhere, cardboard everywhere, knives on the ground, and everything's starting to look too big. The 20 by 20 boxes I procured for this gave me decent latitude for keeping these shapes on as few panels as possible, <laughs> You know me, I didn't want to have to string together multiple boxes to accomplish one shape, knowing that would compromise structural integrity, and there's only one thing I don't compromise on, baby. And that's structural integrity. <laughs> but I really don't. Shockingly, the general shape seemed to be fitting together. Things like circles for the lens elements, the light meter, and the exposure compensation wheel, those were the easy parts. I wish I could have made them rotate, but, well, the growing aggravation of everyone around me made me kind of want to expedite the process. With two days remaining until this absolutely had to be done, I started spray painting. I quickly realized I didn't have enough spray paint. I went to Home Depot and waited for 20 minutes behind a customer who was furious that he'd have to put his email address into the system to buy eggshell white paint. The cashier said he hopes the customer never returns. And with that positive energy, I grabbed some cans and finished the paint job. Did an absolute paint job in here. Assembly was daunting. Will this thing hold? Are these purse straps gonna rip through the cardboard like Jack Torrance's ax through an Overlook Hotel bathroom door? These questions, frankly, remain unanswered. But we have a costume.
I know what you're thinking. The costume came out too small. It's just not big enough. It's probably like too easy to walk around in. Well, you're a fool. I made it too big. It's huge, okay? It's enormous, but you know, it was fun to make. Um, I can't wait to try to walk around in this tomorrow. I still have massive concerns about how load bearing these straps are. Um, not sure, but it seems okay. Um, I think at a lot of points in this process, I thought, sheesh, this thing's gonna be heavy. And it's not light, let's like be clear, it's not light at all. But, you know, for the amount of panels and thick boxes that are on here, it's not bad. <laughs> it droops a bit for sure. The angles aren't quite right. But uh, it's a human-sized SX-70. And boy, it's really human-sized. This thing is a large chungus, and I am very excited to try to stand behind the BFC cashier counter tomorrow and not fit at all, and really be of no help to anybody. Thank you so much for watching in an instant. Happy Halloween. Stay tuned for more reviews, breakdowns, tips, guides, and happy Halloween. Boom!